Hello everybody and welcome to another Jumpooty Heroes video in the countdown to New Year's. Technically yesterday's video uh, was, 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 it wasn't Jumpooty Heroes, it was One Piece Treasure Cruise, but that's because I forgot we were doing that. So <laughs> whatever I had planned for that day, do not worry, it, uh, it will be integrated into the New Year's special, which I'm hoping I'm going to be able to get out, get out on time for you guys on New Year's Day. Uh, we're also going to be streaming on New Year's Day. Normally I stream every Wednesday, but if I'm being realistic, the game was completely fucking dead. <laughs> um, so there wouldn't have been anything for me to do on stream. So New Year's Day, new content drops. You will see me then. We're going to be doing some summons as well, so hope you guys do stop by for that one. But today, we're going to be talking about version 2s that I want to see in 2021. Now technically these aren't all version 2, some of them are like version 3, 4, whatever. But the important note for this is I, I, I've, I've chosen 10. Uh, I've only chosen one from each series. And uh, some of these picks uh, are more vague than others. But we'll explain that when we get there. Uh, this is in no particular order, this is just 10 characters I, I I think we genuinely could see in 2021. I would like to see in 2021. And, uh, I mean, yeah, let's, let's just kick things off. So, starting off, we have what I'm going to call Yuna V2. But it could just, just as easy, easily be Kogarashi V2. This is a bit of a weird one because either one of them could technically be the V2. We have the Tenko version of Yuna. Or we have the version of Kogarashi using her Tenko powers as spirit armor. So technically it could be like a dual unit, technically it could be a V2, to, you know, there's there's a few different ways it could be taken. Um, but the main thing is, I think they would probably <laughs> go with the Tenko Yuna. Because that alternate version of Kogarashi requires them to animate a naked Yuna behind him. And I don't know where the rules fall on that one. I suppose it will be censored, obviously, but I don't know how willing they would be able to do how willing they'd be to do that, and whether they'd be able to do that. I don't know. Um, but the reason this is on the list is because Yuna's Haunted Heart Springs has kind of got fucked in terms of content. There's only been three characters uh, sparingly released, and I feel like they have done a few times where the series hasn't got much content. And then when it has got something new, it's been from like a really hype moment later in the series, rather than carrying on from where content was left before. And so I think this would be a pretty good moment to add. Uh, I like the characters very much, I like the series very much, the anime was kind of not great. But, but the manga was fun, the manga was fun, it was smart, there's no doubt about that, but it was fun. Um, and this is probably the most unrealistic pick on the list. Uh, there, there is another one that's a little bit unrealistic, but uh, it's just something I would like to see, so I thought I'd throw that one in there. Uh, I should preface this with there are other characters I would like to see as version 2s, and that I could see coming as version 2s. One that has not made the list here, for example, is Toriko, um, but I talked about the fact that I basically wanted all the Toriko content. I want a full feature festival, everything, uh, in 2021. So. I mentioned that in the last video, I felt like I didn't really need to say it here. And there's no real point in me pinpointing an exact moment in the series for him because there are multiple different versions of Toriko we could get that I would be perfectly happy with. Uh, next up, I'm going to talk about Sawaratsuna Yoshi. This would be version 3. This would be the Von Gola Gear version. Seems like this is definitely going to come. Uh, we have the Inheritance Ceremony Arc Feature Festival coming up uh, very soon, actually, in February. And... Wait, was it in February? I'm pretty sure it was in February. Anyway, um, we know that's coming, so if, if you are a fan, you should be saving. And it seems pretty obvious that this will be the case, you know, sooner being the new limited for that event. It's a bit of a shame that quite often, the some of the smaller series, it's like the limited is just going to be the main guy, <laughs> always the main guy. Uh, there, there could be arguments for other characters to get it, but the fact that we don't have this version of Suna kind of suggests to me that it probably will be him. But the arc is technically big enough that you could split it up into pieces. 
and you could do like little bits here and then throw some other bits in an ensemble or something. I don't know. From the looks of things, it did quite well last year, uh, despite being a smaller feature festival. So we might get we might get like a full a full course meal for this feature festival. Loads of content. I don't know. Um, but this sooner. This this one's just obvious. This, this is an obvious pick. Uh, next up, I have put Toshiro Hitsugaya Thousand Year Blood War version, the adult version of his completed Bankai. Um, this this is a very good version of this character. I like this very, very much. Um, I know a lot of other people do really want this. I was kind of torn between choosing him and Rukia. I probably could have just put Rukia, to be honest. Um, but the thing is... It's really tricky, isn't it? Because I genuinely believe that this Toshiro could be put into like a random event as a limit. I could totally see it, and I just I'm not sure if they would with Rukia. I don't know why. I don't exactly know why, but I just feel like the this Toshiro has just got so much fucking drip. I can already imagine him in like the Jumputi style. Like, it'd just be so so good, and we need more freeze units, so. It just it just seems straightforward. Uh, also, Toshiro, for the record, very very popular. So popular, in fact, that he got a standalone gacha on the Bleach Return Feature Festival, despite the fact that he's just a random standard gacha unit. Um, and I think the only other character they did that for was Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. So it's very clear that they hold him in a high regard. Um, whether whether or not that translates into him being a limited, I don't know. Uh, but getting this version 2 should, should definitely be on the cards. Next up, we have Kinikuman version 2. This is a really interesting one, actually, because we saw this Kinikuman in the file, so we already know he's coming. But that much is for certain. But what's weird about it is, uh, I was saying that that costume of Kinikuman was from the Scramble for the Throne arc, and it is from that arc. But actually, in the final fight against um, Kinney Command Super Phoenix, he doesn't wear that costume. He wears his like his costume with the cape. Uh, it's, it's a completely different one. Hopefully I've put it on screen for you. And uh, the, the image I've shown here is him using the Muscle Spark, which is one of the uh, later techniques he picks up, the one of the great techniques of justice. And... This technique he is using against Nemesis, which is a character from outside of Weekly Shonen Jump. So, could it be potentially on the cards that we see this version of Kinikuman? The reason I'm saying this is because you may remember we got Alma Karma at Christmas, a character that is not in Weekly Shonen Jump. He has only ever appeared in the continuation of of the manga outside of Weekly Shonen Jump. Nemesis is exactly the same. Kinika Man wears two costumes during the Scramble for the Throne arc that I can remember, and that's this one and the one with the cape. But in the arc in which Nemesis features, which is where we actually got the Akuma Shogun and the Silver Man, or sorry, Gold Man and Silver Man from before, the, you know, he wears this costume for the for the majority of the arc. It seems like a pretty good choice. So we could actually legitimately get Nemesis in the game, which would be pretty cool. Post-manga content would be pretty damn cool. And this version of Kinney Commando in the Muscle Spark. And it would be great to have him because we already have Silverman, who does the Arrogant Spark. And I mean, people people who know Kinney Command will know what I'm talking about and will know the story of the, of the Justice Chojin. And people who don't will just think I'm waffling and they won't be entirely wrong. Moving on, Shigaraki Tomura version 2. I really don't want to talk about this one too much because A, it's major spoilers, and B, oh baby, <laughs> oh baby. Uh, I don't mind spoiling stuff that's like much older or stuff that's like not super, super popular. Uh, but in the case of this, you know, when this new season of the anime is going to drop, I don't think this has been covered by the anime yet. When all the anime stuff starts dropping around this arc and the following arcs, that's, for me, that's like prime, primo, My Hero Academia content. And this version of Shigaraki, yes, please, yes, yes, please. Um, for me, this is 100% a Dark Heroes Limited. All the rest up until now, it's like, they could easily be like, not limiteds. 
Toshiro could be standard catcher. Kinikaman could be standard catcher. Sooner definitely actually could be standard catcher. They could they could put uh, somebody else as the limit. Totally could happen. And with Yuna could be standard catcher. For me, it would be such a disservice to make this Shigaraki anything other than limited. Um, and I imagine him just being OP as shit and being really awesome. So really looking forward to him being added. And that should be happening this year, I would imagine. Uh, next up, I have... A, I don't know if it's a controversial pick, but a pick that might surprise some people coming from me. It's version 2 Sanji, or Vinsmoke Sanji, or Sanji from Whole Cake Island, I guess. The reason people might not expect this from me is because I have voiced my opinion on the bigger series getting a bit too much attention. One Piece being one of the main culprits, One Piece actually having an event on right now, which by the way didn't get to talk about it in the news video because we didn't have the full information but we do now know that it is not just Luffy and Ace coming we are getting Blackbeard, Magellan, Ivankov and Marco. Pretty cool. I'm very excited for Marco. Um, Sanji however so far only has one version which came out at the end of 2018 so it's a really old one and you know, Zoro got a new version, but neither of the versions of Zoro are particularly good, I guess, because one of them is free to play anyway. I I just think, like, the Straw Hats, other than Luffy, <laughs> have really been fucked over a little bit in terms of being playable. Uh, Frankie's still pretty good, but for what he is. Um, Robin, for, for a 2018 unit, Robin's, Robin's okay. Zoro gets use on support. Sanji again, it's okay. Give me a version 2 Sanji. You could legitimately make this like a limited or something. I'd, I'd take a standard gacha though. Because um, this version of Sanji, this version of Sanji rocks. <laughs> it rocks. And this entire arc, I'm really not a big fan of Whole Cake Island. Because it has so many good high points. And that is just drowned out by just boring. Just, just boring stuff I don't care about. And like bro, the, the scene with with Sanji and Pudding, uh, where he's like he finds out what's going on, or like with Reiju's memories and stuff, bro, bro, that scene. When I read that in the manga, I was reading week to week, and I'm like, yo, yo, this is sick. And it's just like it's such a good arc for his character. He has so many good moments. You could easily put him up against like Judge. You could even, if you wanted to. Have like a stage where you fight all the German kids and then you fight Judge. Maybe it's like a Genkai battle or something like that. Like that would be kind of neat. That would be kind of cool. Um, but yeah, San Sanji. Oh god, version two Sanji. Give us a good straw hat that's not Luffy. And I know, I know what all those people. Brooke's not here yet, and. Is Carrot technically a straw hat? She's not in the Japanese version anyway. And what about Jinbei? And blah, blah, blah. I know, I know, I know. But I want version 2 Sanji. And for the sake of this video, he's going on the list. Next up, Kibutsuji Muzan version 2. Uh, I was torn here between putting Muzan or putting um, a version of Tanjiro that has Nezuko as part of a dual unit. Because I've said that we should get that for a, lot, <laughs> for a long, long time. Also... That was one of the pairings that showed up on the second anniversary video where they were showing off characters together. And so far, we, from that video, we've got Goku and Vegeta, we've got Naruto Sasuke, we've got Hinata Kagayama, and we have gotten Ace and Luffy. So, could be carrying on from there, we could get them. That could happen. Um, but I put Muzan instead, mainly because... I'm, I'm not completely satisfied with the version of Muzan that we have. It's not bad. It's a very good unit. And it's very well designed. And the special animation looks perfectly serviceable. But I think most people wanted the, the version of Muzan that we didn't have. You know? <laughs> the the one that was showed off in the game, actually. Uh, at the end of the event. Kind of teasing the next Kim Kimitsune Yaba Feature Festival. Whatever that's going to be. It's obviously going to be the final fight. Um... But it, it was just a bit weird to me that we don't have this Muzan. And I'm kind of disappointed that we don't have him. Uh, arguably, another character I would want more is a version 2 um, Tengen. 
I don't think there's any chance of him getting a version 2 from the Daki arc, because the one we've got is already from the Daki arc. Uh, so if we got a version 2, it would probably be from later, and I don't know. I, I won't go too much into, into spoiler information, because it's spoilers, and Kimisuni was kind of big. But I would, like, I would like to see a version 2 Tengen, I'd like to see a version 2 Muzan, and I would like to see a version... One, I guess, version two. I don't know. The Tanjiro and Nezuko dual unit. Moving on to our second, somewhat unlikely, pick, which is Hinamaru Ushio version two uh, from Hinamaru Zuma. Kind of unlikely. I I've kind of gone with a vague pick here because with all the others, I mean, it's pretty obvious what I'm going for here. You know, like with Muzan, I specifically want the dude Muzan, the Michael Jackson Muzan that we're familiar with. With Sanji, I want Vince Smoke Sanji from Whole Cake Island, etc. Kind of looking at specific moments, but with Hinamaru, just anything post time skip would be fine. Anything, I'd be fine with pre time skip actually, but just I, I think it would be nice to touch the post time skip of Hinamaru Zumo. Um, man, the, the Hinamaru Zumo units are so bad. <laughs> They're so bad, and it's so unfair because I I do like the series. And I think the chance of it getting more love later is pretty slim. Just, I'll take anything here. Give me an ensemble. Give me one new unit in an ensemble something. Um, yeah, th this was actually in the other video. I said this was a series I'd like to see more of. And it's, and it's damn true. It's damn true. Uh, moving on from that. Gohan. Ultimate Gohan is what I have put here. Now, Gohan's a weird one because I do believe, someone could correct my maths if I'm wrong, I do believe Gohan is the only character to have four versions that are all standard gacha. Um, there might be other characters that have like three or two. I, I don't know if that's actually true or not. I, I can't think of any that have three or two. But Gohan has all four standard gacha. You've got the future Gohan. And you've got the Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. You've got the the kid Gohan from Earth, and then the kid Gohan from Namek. Four standard catcher Gohans. But, for me, the one you're going to choose for this, for this new version, Ultimate Gohan, or Mystic Gohan, or, you know, Powers Awakened Gohan, or Limitless Potential Gohan, or whatever he's called now, it's just a no-brainer. It's just obvious. It's just, it's just he's he's the guy. He's he's the guy. He should be in the game. He should be a limited. Uh, I do have a theory. Um, I have lots of theories that they're mostly wrong, but this this is yet another theory. I have a theory that they have decided not to do the Margin Buu saga as a feature festival. Hence why we got Hercule as just a random like unit in the tower. Um, hence why Goku and Vegeta counted Super Buu. Why Gotenks countering um, Good Buu technically countering Super Buu. Like, that's that's why I think this has all been split up, is because they didn't want a feature festival where you had to fight Margin Buu like 10 times. They thought it wouldn't be particularly interesting. So they've split it up into multiple different fights, across, like, just spread across the game, released at different times, and they're using that as an excuse to release all of those characters as limited. If you had a feature festival, and you had Super Vegito, Oh my Gohan, Gotenks, blah blah blah, whatever. You'd probably struggle to release them all as limiteds and be able to justify it. But if you split it off all into separate events, even though Goku and Vegeta count a Super Buu and <laughs> Gotenks count a Super Buu, <laughs> you can still have them both as limiteds. And you can even have them as different type limiteds and they're both like super OP. So I think I'll do the same with Oma Gohan and I'm excited to see him be added to the game. The final one for today. Gold Experience Requiem Giorno. I actually struggled to, to think about who would be this like last slot. And this one is the only one I would say that potentially goes beyond limited. Because for me, Gohan would, Ultimate Gohan should be a limited. Inamaru could just be anything. Don't care. <laughs> you know, like a lot of the ones going down the list. I just, just whatever, just add them to the game. Shigaraki 100% should be a limited. Um, but everything else on the list is like, whatever. Gohan and Shigaraki, I would say, are the only ones that absolutely must be limited. But, Giorno is the only one I would say 
should be a limited on the low end. <laughs> and on the higher end, potentially could be a Musa. Now, I don't know if, if they would do that. Because so far, we've only had Hashirama. So we don't have much of a point of reference for what they can turn into Musos and what they're willing to turn into a Muso. Uh, but I, I kind of think he should be one. Which doesn't necessarily make me very happy because he'll probably be quite good, but he's going to cost 24,000 rubies. And that's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot. So I would say I'll be excited to see him added. Um... Potentially from Jojo other version 2 is like I would like them to have another go at Joseph and Caesar. I would like them to give us part for Jotaro. Um I don't know. They could have another go at part one as well. A version version two Jonathan. There, there's a lot they could do. But Giorno is the one I would want the most. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Gold experience requiem. Let's fucking go. Anyway, that's the end of this video. Uh, we have more coming. I, I don't know how I'm going to get these all out because I haven't got a lot of time, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do my best. And uh, yeah, let me know in the comments what version 2s do you want to see? It doesn't have to be version 2, version 3, version 4, whatever. I think Gohan would be like version 5. <laughs> Which ones do you want to see? And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.